So, how good are Phoenix Contact's high-speed connection kits for Honeywell's Experion PKS? Let's wire one and find out. On the back plane here is an analog input IOTA, but the benefits you're about to see apply to all Experion PKS IOTAs, analog, digitals, ins and outs. To begin, the standard screw terminal blocks used with the IOTA are removed and replaced with a Phoenix Contact IOTA adapter. This adapter easily pushes into the exposed terminal sockets and then provides a 37-pin D-sub connection point that will come into play in a few seconds. For added security, the IOTA adapters come with screws that can be tightened and prevent the adapter from vibrating out. So, with the adapter completely connected to the IOTA, let's move on to the terminal blocks. Most notable here is the fact that the wide rows of traditional terminal blocks used to connect the field to the IOTA is replaced by a single FTA, or field termination assembly. This single FTA accommodates three-wire connection and provides fuses, blown fuse indication, disconnect points, and test points for all 16 channels. Oh, and yeah, you get all those features for all 16 channels in about four inches. Now, for the really cool part, connecting the FTA to the IOTA. Remember the D-sub header on the IOTA adapter? Well, that same header is used on the FTA. That means all that's needed to connect the two are a simple female-to-female 37-pin D-sub cable. Just plug both ends in, screw down for security, and you're done. You're ready for the next IOTA. Just think about what you can do with the extra time and space you'll save project after project. For selection guides, data sheets, or more information, check out www.phoenixcontact.com slash Experion PKS.